Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, since I'm stuck on Fedora for a little while because I'm too lazy to go repair my arch issue, uh, I'll explain what happened here after. I need to reinstall Affinity on my uh, brand new Fedora 42 install. Before you even ask, no, Fedora 42 has not gotten any more stable. Anyway, I've started the process here. I use the all-in-one installer at the top, so that's this guy right here. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I get lots of questions. Do you have a video? Do you have a video? Yes, yes, I have a video. Uh, clear as day, I have videos on everything. It's always in the description. And it's always that one playlist in the description. It has everything. Uh, that thing can get you started in Linux, and that thing can get you to be a moderate to advanced user in Linux as well. So that's why I tend to pour it out most of the time. Okay, so... I've never fully gone over the changes that I made to this installer. So the first thing it does is it handles all the dependencies for both wine tricks and everything else. That means everything. We do not skip short of anything. And uh, what I mean by that, if I go into affinity scripts, is we do a lot. Okay? We, we do a lot. We do more than other people do with their scripts to prevent crashing and other issues. And as you can see, we also handle dependencies and things like that because it needs to be handled. Where others won't handle the proper dependencies for things and just half-ass it and hope for the best. And I'm not that type of guy. Now, we've stuck to Elemental Wine version 9.12 or 9.13 because it works. And um, let me see here. Make a directory, download a file, do all this stuff, that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so here's ours, okay? We install .NET 35, .NET 48 core fonts. Just realized how string, how out we are. <clears throat> VC run 2022 in all fonts. This way we have all of the fonts that normal people use, okay? Including all the core fonts. And then we switch over to Vulkan. Now, the main problem with other things like... Uh, Affinity Nix, I think it's called. I also think I have uh, something over here with that. I'm not signed in. Go figure. New install and all that. Let me just check here real quick. And... That's not it. That's not it. Aha! Here we go. So I directly forked this. And I did one commit. Because they did not know what they were doing. Originally, they had .NET 48, they had core fonts and VC run 2022, which is incorrect and can cause crashing and instability. I added all fonts, .NET 35, .NET 48, core fonts, and this, and then I added the renderer to be Vulkan by default. This is a must. This is completely necessary because if you don't, you're going to have constant crashing. It's not going to boot up most of the time, and it's very problematic. So there you go. Now... <clears throat> whether or not I'm going to open up a pull request, uh, I mean, you know what, let's, why, why not? Okay, why not? This, this is a thing that needs to be done. So let me sign in real quick. All right, we're all signed in. I'm going to create a pull request that this is going to go to their main. All right, there we go. Great pull request and done. There we go. Whether it gets merged or not is completely up to if this guy has an ego or not. And hopefully 
Uh, there's no ego necessary because that would be really, really bad. Okay. So not only does this automatically handle your, your dependencies for Fedora, Arch, yada, 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 right? But uh, it grabs everything needed to run the project and install the project. And it's going to take a while to do all of this. I have sped it up quite a lot, actually. It used to take 34 minutes or more. Now it takes about 15 to 20 minutes, which is a huge cut down in time uh, because I learned how to optimize wine tricks to work even quicker than it did before. Now, I'm going to pause here, and once we get to the point where we got to actually install everything, we'll come right back. All right, so everything from wine tricks is installed. As you can see, this can be completely ignored. I don't know why the hell it's glitching out like this. It does this on certain distros that aren't exactly the most stable. And again, we're on Fedora 42, so that checks. Now, we press 1, and what it's going to do is it's going to start up everything, get everything ready. Just let me put this over here on the edge. I'm going to go into my Ventoy drive, and we're going to grab a photo. Now, it's telling you to drag and drop the executable. I don't care if you're a filthy pirate or not. It's meant for legit installs and on legit installs. doesn't matter, but do buy the program. It's worth it. And then basically you do your installation. It unpacks the temporary files. It does everything necessary for you to have a working version Ow. of Affinity Photo, which I greatly appreciate. Now, I will be changing the icons from the official Affinity Photo to more of a Big Sur type thing because I find it looks better. And then it will send you back here. We're going to install Designer next. And uh, then we go and grab the Designer version, just like this. And this does work with Publisher as well, but I have no need for Publisher, not yet. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what Publisher does. I haven't really ever looked at what Publisher does. I might do that. I might do that sometime. I think it's for creating websites or something. Yeah, that, that, that might be what it does. I don't know. But after that's done, and you're all good to go, you can literally press 5 to exit. Okay. Close it out. Close out whatever anything you have open. And uh, head in, and you'll see there it is. Affinity Photo, and you click it, and it will start up eventually. And done. Now we have Affinity Photo fully working and ready to go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget, you can also uh, support this script and all that I do, keeping it going, keeping it updated uh, by donating. Uh, you'll find a ways to do that in the description below. And uh, you'll find the script that I used, that I made, that I modified and rewrote about four times now in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.